Good evening and welcome to the Manila Times TV's newest show, Congress Diaries. This is where we analyze, scrutinize, and explore the pros and cons of some of the more interesting and controversial bills in our present Congress. I'm your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. Recently, the House Committee on Labor and Employment had approved the Compressed Work Week Bill. Under that bill, authored by Baguio Representative Mark Go, employees can work for only four days a week. But also, under that bill, Filipinos will have to work longer hours a day. Many long weekends, but the compromise is working long hours daily. Will this work for Filipinos? We will ask our guests uh, tonight, and uh, we have uh, two of them, and uh, thank you for joining us. Mr. George C., the Director of Integrated Development Studies Institute, and Mr. Alan Tanhusay, the TUCP spokesperson. So, good evening, gentlemen, and welcome to Congress Diaries. And uh, as we said, you know... Uh, we are now looking at uh, this measure that is now in the house. Yes. So, para pag-usapan ito ngayong gabi, eh, yung compressed work week, una sa lahat, uh, siguro po, ito ay uh, isang panukala na directly resulting from the present traffic problem. Mm -hmm. So, doon siya nagsimula. Yeah. So, yung premise niya medyo iba, hindi mm -hmm. doon sa tungkol sa mga laborers or workers talaga, but because of traffic, di ba? So, ang unang tanong, katulad po ng tanong ko sa inyo kanina, ito ba ay uh, gusto ninyo? Ano po ba ang stand ninyo dito? At uh, pag-usapan po natin ito. So, siguro magsimula tayo sa side ng uh, uh, workers yeah. ano, ng TUCP. Uh, this is the Trade Union Congress of the Philippines. So, Mr. Tanhusay? Thank you, uh, Kong Kim. Uh, mm -hmm. On the part of the TUCP, Uh, may bahagi po ng panukala na sinusuportahan namin mm -hmm. at may bahagi din po ng panukala na hindi namin uh, ka, uh, pwedeng suportahan dahil po uh, nakakasama sa kalusugan ng mga mga magagawa at higit sa lahat uh, baka po masira yung uh, matagal ng panahon na pinaglalaban ng mga labor leaders na itayo o itaguyo yung walang oras na trabaho. Dati mm -hmm. kasi Kong Kim, ang pagtatrabaho ay walang oras, walang limit, no? one to sawa. Yes. Kaya uh, pinaglaban ito ng mga naunang mga labor leaders mm -hmm. at naipanalo na magkaroon ng 8-hour na trabaho. Ngayon, sa panahon na ito, ang panukalang ito ay it would exceed 8 hours. Mm -hmm. Pero tinitingnan namin ito na may mga benepisyo dahil may mga manggagawang makikinabang pero uh, may bahagi ito na napakadelikado para sa kanila. I see. So, ang ibig nyo sabihin, uh, sa kabuuan, Welcome naman yung uh, panukala mm -hmm. na yan, uh, pero kailangan lang i-qualify yes. kung ano-anong mga industries yes. at uh, kung kanino siya mag apply Yes, Kongki. Hindi ba? Okay, so uh, on the side of the businessmen naman, uh, Mr. George C., ano po ang uh, inyong pananaw uh, dito sa bagay na to? Uh, to give it as an option ay isang malaking uh, advantage rin, no? Yes. Because, uh, but it depends on the industries uh, and also. the functions involved mm -hmm. yes. and uh, kung mutually, mutually agreed upon. Mm -hmm. Dahil uh, we know the hard labor of portions like kung mason ka o painter, mm -hmm. talagang nakakapagod. Mm -hmm. yes. So you cannot take that long. Mm -hmm. yes. Even for the painter, even if he's strong, Uh, yung consistency ng paint niya at mga kulay nag-iiba na. That's no? true. Uh, Nagkawag kami ng uh, survey dati kung sa garments industry, yun after the 8 hours, uh, the, yung uh, mas bata, siguro their productivity drops 15%, mm -hmm. 20%. Mm -hmm. But the older ones, lumalabo ng mata, mm -hmm. ganyan, ang productivity drops 40%. No? So, naka, mahirap rin sa... But, pero for people like artists, writers, editors, layout, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, actually, maganda ito. In fact, we're encouraging, I think, a lot of business now, uh, we're encouraging them that if they want, they can do it at home as long as they communicate. Yes. And uh, they can even take additional jobs elsewhere. Nakaka-sideline yeah. sila. Actually, di, ito po ay uh, isang worldwide trend. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Especially for certain industries, di ba? Yes. Pero yung mga... Physical, uh -huh. manual na uh -huh. labor that you have to do and especially for frontline services, yes. medyo mahirap din po yata yes. yung ipatupad yung four-day work week, yes. hindi ba? Mm -hmm. So, ang tanong dyan, uh, siguro apart from uh, yung sa, ano, di ba, yung sa separate 
industry siguro. Kinonsulta po ba kayo ng uh, ating uh, congressman dito uh, yes. when they uh, started this? And what was uh, your feedback, uh, initial feedback to yung consultations na yun? Yes, uh, yes, Kong King. Uh, mm -hmm. Going home, uh, napag-uusapan ito sa technical working group at mm -hmm. uh, very much on the UCP uh, involved sa, sa mga uh, sa mga discussions. No? Right. In fact, uh, uh, naipad, naibahagi na namin ang aming posisyon na may yes. mga bahagi nga na uh, pwede namin suportahan dahil marami sa mga magagawa, uh, let's say, talagang makikinabang din dito dahil gustong-gusto oh. nila yung four-day uh, work week dahil meron silang tatlong kung, araw. Kung applicable lang doon oh, sa kanilang kung, trabaho. Sa, sa, sa kanilang uh, industriya, sa kanilang oh, trabaho. Oh, oh. Uh, pero meron din kasing, uh, for example, yung uh, mga nagtatrabaho sa paint industry. Oo, oh, katulad nga ng nabanggit ni yung Mr. George. Yung na amoy na chemical. Yes. Meron nung limit yan. Uh, threshold limit na kapag ka ikaw sumobra sa exposure sa amoy, sa dust, at sa iba pang mga pollution, eh nakaka... Uh, dulot ho ito ng sakit sa mga manggagawa. Tama. So, our position in the with this with regards to the law is that it it should remain as a as a uh, ad, uh, advisory or or a policy guideline of the dole hindi na po kay siguro kailangan na aprobahan ito bilang batas ah uh, so ibig sabihin ni noon sinabi ninyo sa mga uh, sa ating mga congressman na hindi naman siya kailangan gawing batas pwede naman siyang maging department yeah, yeah. order yes, policy yes, yes. nung uh, nang dole for yes. example mm -hmm. hindi ba so ano po ang kanilang uh, reaction Uh, well, uh, ang, ang kanilang reaction ay naintindihan nila yung posisyon ng TUCP dahil uh, magbibigay nga ito ng pangamba sa mga, sa mga manggagawa. Ngunit uh, sinabi ho namin sa kanila na hindi na ho kailangan na ilagay ito sa batas dahil baka ho magbago yung walong oras na trabaho. I see. Baka ho isipin ng, ng ating mga mababatas, ng ating mga negosyante, na okay lang sa mga manggagawa magtrabaho ng sobra sa walong oras. Mm -hmm. So, ang amin hong uh, posisyon ay uh, wag na hong gawing batas, hayaan na ho natin voluntary ito, mm -hmm. at uh, higit sa lahat, uh, hayaan na natin ang dole lang mag-supervise kung uh, sino yung mga companies at mga uh, empleyado ang pwedeng uh, mag-adapt ng ganito klaseng schema. Oo, kung sa bagay sila naman yung implementing agency that will uh, have to do this if ever, hindi yes. ba? Kasi kung kami yung kasalukuyang uh, practice kasi, yung, uh, yung kasalukuyang practice ng mga nasa 4-day compressed work week, wala hong, uh, ano, wala hong bayad yung overtime. Mm -hmm. So, pinapangambahan ho namin na kapag ka ito ay gawing batas at baguhin yung labor code, mm -hmm. baka ho gawing uh, labindalawang oras yung trabaho sa isang araw ng walang overtime, lagpas ng walang oras. I see. So, yun ho ang aming pangamba. Ah, okay. So, on the side po of uh, the businessmen, um, Mr. C, I'm sure there are concerns uh, also as with any other proposed measure, there will always be concerns uh, that the businessmen will... Uh, will raise, di ba? Do, uh, what are some of the concerns that you see, uh, especially if this kind of uh, bill will be adopted and become a law? I, I think the uh, established businesses, uh, hindi naman magiging problema itong eight hours. They're very willing. They know they're, it's reasonable. More work, yes. more pain. No? Uh, of course, aside from yung earlier na napag-usapan natin na yes. in certain industries the uh, hindi kaya ng katawan o ng yes. consistency. But there are others that even if it is light work, the coordination between many people is required. Uh, those jobs, mahirap to have to talk to each person separately, mm -hmm. even if the communication is there. And then the others, the services, are require your presence rather than heavy work. Mm -hmm. So like, as you said, frontliners yes. and government services are exports. When the... When the production is done and they need to export it, the person to process the at the pier and the customs has to be there. That's no? true. So, that's true. So but also, um, Mr. C, for example, there are some types of work and industries that are seasonal in nature. Yeah. Yes. Uh, for example, it's almost Christmas now. So Christmas time, there's a different uh, type of industry right. that would have to work more mm. uh, during the season, hindi yes, ba? Like, so, gift items, yes, mga, uh -oh. mga light garments. Uh -oh. So what is their position on that? Uh, they, they would definitely not work on this uh, for uh, unless it's an option yes and then i'm sure they're willing to pay more because uh it's very similar to garments 
Ngayon, Christmas may mm. orders. January, yes. February, wah, halos walang Wala. orders. Yes, oh, so oh. It's, seasonal. You know, yeah, seasonal siya eh. Oh, oh. So, the, it would make sense to schedule more now. Hindi mo mapilitan yung oras na... It's when the customer wants it, it's not when you want to work it. Eh. <laughs> Oo nga. Okay, so uh, my next question is, kasi apparently itong batas or itong panukalang batas na ito, uh, you know, has been crafted on the wrong premise. Ang premise mm. kasi nila is a solution to traffic, hindi ba? Mm. And uh, we will get your reactions on that. Uh, but first, uh, Congress Diaries will go into a break. Stay with us. Hi everyone, I am Zihir Basho and welcome to the new Clark City where the 30th Southeast Asian Games will be held this November. Dito gaganapin ang tagisa ng mga atleta mula sa iba't ibang bansa ng Southeast Asian region. Welcome back to Congress Diaries. And uh, we are still with our guest, Mr. Alan Tanhusay from the TUCP, and uh, Mr. George C., wh who represents the business sector. And of course, we were discussing about the compressed work week. So uh, earlier this time, tinatanong natin ano yung position ninyo, di ba? Pero ang sabi nga ni Mr. Uh, Tanhusay, meron din naman siya talagang benefit, mm. di ba? Actually, totoo. Marami rin naman yes. ang may gusto niyan. So, tell us about it, uh, Mr. Tanhusay. Yes, Kong. Uh, in fact, uh, may mga union members who kami na... In favor? Yeah, na, na in favor. At in mm. fact, kasama na ho si CBA dahil uh, yung four-day work week ay nagbibigay sa kanila ng extra time mm -hmm. uh, for themselves. No? Maraming magagawa sa loob na tatlong araw na mm -hmm. extra, na mm -hmm. walang trabaho. No? Pwede niyong uh, ayusin yung bahay, pwede quality time with the family, Tama. with the children, at iba pang mga papel o mga papeles na kailangan, kailangan mong lakarin na hindi mm -hmm. mo pwede gawin kasi may, mayro kang pasok. So, Yung tatlong araw na yun, ang laki yung pakinabang kong king doon sa mga nag-avail ng compressed work. Yes. That's, uh, oh, that's true. Especially because na pag-usapan po natin kanina, uh, Sir uh, George uh, C., no? yung natitirang oras ng mga yes. empleyado, mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. Pangalawa, kahit na matagal sila doon sa kanilang workplace, eh yung productivity naman nila din ay uh, magsasuffer mm -hmm. kasi nag-iisip din sila. Hindi lang yung extended work hours, pero kung iniisip mo na matatraffic ba ako, anong oras ba ako makaka-uwi, mm. meron pa ba, uh, gising pa ba yung mga anak ko pag, pag uwi ko ng bahay, hindi ba? These are also factors, hindi ba? So, it's, it should be a welcome development for others. There, there's also benefits, no? If, uh -oh. if in the industries that where it's applicable, uh, mas mababa ang overhead mo because you need less space or Correct. yung uh, facilities mo. Uh, you can have a higher utilization because then there's other groups of people who can use it. That's true. And also, we're able to hire, you know, if a uh, lesser work time, we're able to hire more talented uh, people because ngayon, yung mga tao, talagang maraming ayo na rin ng ganyang kahaba na trabaho eh. No? But uh, there, that uh, requires that our uh, digital and communications infrastructure has to be improved. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, as you say, it's not really the solution to our traffic. Oh, oh, eh. naman ang traffic ngayon. Oh, oh, eh. uh, uh. I think kaya lang naman ito uh, nila na pag-isipan uh, is, you know, gusto nila sigurong mm. makatulong to find a creative way, perhaps to uh, help, uh, you know, mitigate the effects of uh, debilitating traffic in, in the Philippines, especially sa urban areas. Oh, yun pala, pinag-usapan natin kanina, kung ito ay tinitignan na isang solusyon para sa traffic, eh paano naman yung mga nasa probinsya? Mm -hmm. Hindi ba? So, Mr. Tanusa, what kaya do you think? Nga, kaya nga, Kong Kim, hindi ho kami naniniwala mm -hmm. na ito ay solusyon o makakatulong sa ma-minimize yung uh, traffic congestion. Yes. Dahil uh, sa tingin ho namin, hindi ho mga manggagawa at mga negosyante ang cause of traffic. 
uh, cause of traffic congestion, kundi sa dami ng mga sasakyan at higit sa lahat, napakalala, napakaluma at uh, kulang na kulang yung ating mass transport system. Oo, actually, yun yun eh. Kasi kung titignan po ninyo ngayon eh, if you have a choice, kung sa ibang bansa, mm -hmm. hindi ba, pwede kang pumasok, yeah. hindi mo kailangan dalhin mm -hmm. sa sasakyan mo kasi alam mo na may masasakyan ka. Nasa na may, oras. Oo, na nasa oras ang dating mm -hmm. mo, hindi ka madedelay. Kasi yeah. pag late kang okay. pumasok sa, eskw sa, ay, sa eskwelahan o sa trabaho, mm -hmm. Eh di, ano din yun, point against mm. you, hindi ba? So, mababawasan ng productivity. Well, Your employer will also uh, suffer. Mm. Kasi wala ka eh, dun sa exact na time mm. na kailangan ka. So, hindi nga siya talaga, ano. This, so, yes, this, yes. If I may, ano, it, oh, ito ay, as, as you said, uh, karamihan ng kotse, it also is part of uh, the result of... Uh, our mass transit system not being effective in bringing yes. people to their work, no? Yes, sir. But this is also part of uh, national planning because before, yun urban planning natin mm. is not taking logistics into account. Hindi yes. kailangan dati eh. Pero ngayon, with the density and dami-dami tao living in the same area. Pero maganda ngayon, uh, na-pass recently yung National Human Settlements or Urban Development uh, uh, as a department mm -hmm. na magkakaroon, dapat magkaroon ng urban planning. Kailangan talaga the different cities and mm -hmm. municipalities get together to mm -hmm. plan inter intermodal transports. Mm -hmm. no? I, I agree. I agree with that, sir. As a matter of fact, uh, even in other countries, uh, well, they've always had urban planning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Medyo mas advanced yung ibang countries mm -hmm. sa atin uh, in that regard. no. But um, part of the solution that they're looking at in other countries is also a uh, compressed work week. Yeah. Or oh, let's mm -hmm. say four-day work week. Uh, in Japan, for example, they started with the company Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maganda daw, tumaas ang productivity by 40%. Uh, so, w what do you think? Um, is it about time? Uh, of course, depending on uh, which areas that you will implement it. Ano? Is it about time that we implement something like this right here, right now? So, Mr. C? I think the service industries we're in, our presence, uh, presence is required. Eh? So, we're talking about customs, we're talking about outsourcing, we're talking about tourism, tour guides. Uh, Microsoft is a creative industry. Eh? Yung yes. creative industries, the time off, they're able to spend time thinking and being creative. Rin, eh? I, I think that in general, maybe for most companies, we're not really ready for that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, because in general, if we less time spent, less production is really... That, that, that's yeah. true. Yeah, and, uh, yeah we, support, we support that idea na siguro applicable ito sa mga certain industries. Certain industries. Pero hindi siya pwede na, for example, what will happen to the sewer? What will happen to the construction worker no? if they are exposed too much uh, manual and tedious jobs? No? So, mm. napakadelikado nito para sa kanila. Okay, so meron ditong isang uh, case in point no? mm. dito sa urban city, for example, yung the rise of the BPO, hindi ba? Yes. Oh. Mm. Yung sa BPO, mahaba din yung ano nila, yung uh, hours, hours nila, working mm -hmm. hours. Kasi yun ang requirement sa kanila eh, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, pangalawa, hindi siguro sila applicable din sa four-day work week. Pa, paano yan? Sino yung tatao dun? Dahil frontliners mm -hmm. yeah. din sila. Mm -hmm. Di ba? But at the same time, uh, it causes more social problems yeah. because of the work that they do. Meron nga silang uh, additional income at mas mataas ang income nila compared to yung mga nakaraang generation. Yeah. But it also created a uh, different set of problems. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with it sa TUCP muna? Well, uh, ang, 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 ang social, main social problem na encounter namin sa BPO ay one, uh, malakas yung paninigarilyo, malakas yung pagkape. Yes. At higit sa lahat... Kasi panggabi sila eh. Oo, eh, hindi namin maitindihan kung bakit uh, napakataas ng um, incidence of HIV and AIDS. Yes, I was gonna say. Yeah. Kasi, you know, it's a, an elephant in the room. Yeah. Kailangan mm. natin talagang pag-usapan kasi alarming na po daw ang, ang levels niyan. So, diba? ang tanong namin dyan sa ganyan industriya, what kind of uh, workforce, future workforce, are we creating out of this industry? Oh, so uh, do you have um, studies yeah. already um, uh, yes. on this to help address the... Yes, uh, there is an ongoing study by the University of the Philippines. Tinitingnan nila kong Kim kung 
ano yung yung especially yung uh, uh, time in motion mm -hmm. ng ng pagtatrabaho sa BPO at higit yes. sa lahat yung kanilang uh, physical conditions bakit may may mga ganitong klasing nag-emerge ng mga problema uh, why are these problems taking a rise uh, in, in the industry now oo oh, oh, in the present uh, environment but uh, hindi pa ho tapos yung study at uh, sooner or later we will heard about it Ah, uh, okay. So, ngayon, uh, on your part, uh, Mr. C, ngayon kasi we see different working conditions nice. already mm -hmm. from the previous generation, perhaps, mm -hmm. no? Uh, of like 10 years, 7, mm -hmm. 10 years ago, di ba? At iba na rin po yung mga problems that uh, you are facing right now, the challenges. So, of course, the, there are newer solutions that, ha that have to be made, no? In your, uh, in your experience, sir, uh, sa business and then, you know, sa entrepreneurs, ito po ba ay uh, nagkakaroon ng direct effect sa kanilang productivity? Also, will it be applicable to the compressed work week? Pwede ba sila doon o hindi pwede? And will it be seen as a solution uh, to the present uh, social problems? Y yung mga social problems na yan, uh, because... The, these, uh, if you're talking about your mga process outsourcing business, yeah, which is yes. very substantial, and also oh. other businesses, uh, people today know wala yung social cohesion because of the internet, mm. digital, yes. everybody's right. on their cell phones. Right. So we really need other avenues of uh, enculturating people because people are moving independently, so there are these mm -hmm. uh, health issues, sex issues, and Ganito, no? Alternative but for, lifestyle, uh, sir. Yes, iba na ngayon, and they can easily move. So actually, our good economy is also creating problems. Be good, yes. I say, because uh, actually, almost everybody who wants work can find work. Yes. The ones yes. who are not, ngayon lang is the only time, whether it's your driver or construction workers, if mm -hmm. they don't mm -hmm. like it today, they leave. And then mm -hmm. they'll find work next week. Mabilis mm -hmm. ng trabaho ngayon. Philippines is in this good uh, spot. Oh, oh, so but mas, that's also making maganda. them not committed also. Oh, nga. So, uh, we will ask you what are the steps you think ta, that ta we need for yung long-term solutions yeah. uh, to address these present problems that were not there before. But, uh, Mr. C, bago mo sagutin yan, kailangan ho ulit natin munang mag-break. So, uh, Congress Diaries will be right back. Please stay with us. And we're back here on Congress Diaries again with our guests, uh, Mr. George C., the director of the Integrated Development uh, Studies mm. Institute, mm. Haba, ano? and uh, Mr. Alan Tanhusay of uh, the TUCP. So welcome back, sir. Uh, I had a question uh, hanging earlier. Um, are you addressing what uh, long-term solutions do employers see and uh, how, do, uh, how to address uh, these social problems that were non-existent before? Yes. Uh, Kong King, this is a really uh, an, ins, uh, uh, an issue that now is not uh, just a legislative issue. Every day we are facing it yes. because there's a shortage of workers in all fields. We have a hard time hiring construction workers, mm -hmm. accountants, lawyers yes. in all fields. Mm -hmm. no? So, mm -hmm. Philippines, ang, ang gusto nating mangyari ngayon as a advocate also sa, as an NGO is that uh, everybody upgrades because there's a tendency ta, sa atin dito sa Pilipinas to just stay there. Mm -hmm. So kung call center worker tayo, hindi natin pinag-aaralan kung anong next stage. No? Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to help everyone mm -hmm. move to the next stage, plan their careers, have that training. Yes. And as a company, we have to upgrade the premises. We have mm -hmm. to upgrade the conditions. Mm -hmm. In fact, we also 
a lot of our companies, uh, maybe two thirds, three fourths, have taken away the Saturday work already. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is happening in a lot of industries, but not in construction or Guinea, no. Uh, and we have to do additional training and. Uh, Personal counseling is also part of it now because there are a lot of problems with people That's right. Oh, eh. na, no, Mr. C, uh -oh. I think these so, types of problems, the employers didn't have to address yes. like maybe a decade ago. And we have to do career counseling. We give them uh, options and uh, possibilities here and tie up with companies abroad because they're looking at all these things. That's eh. also mentoring. That's yes. also good, right? Uh -huh. So it's, it's part mentoring. So uh, in general, um, Iba, nag-iiba na ang, yeah. ang face ng uh, the, the workforce, the industries, and uh, the, the newer businesses that we are seeing now. Unlike before, hindi po ba? Okay, so okay. iwan na natin ng konti yung four-day work week na yan. Kasi since we're all in agreement that, that number one, uh, it should be, it can be applicable in certain sectors, yeah. certain industries, but not to all. Yeah. Second, it doesn't need to be a law. Yeah. Uh, pwede na sigurong mga ano, uh, policy or oh, working, working, correct, working rule Correct, or oh, department order yeah. or policy of the dole. Hindi ba? Okay, so na nakausap niyo po ba ang dole tungkol dyan? Yes, uh, kasama oh. ho siya sa Anong technical working groups. Anong sabi ni Secretary Bello? Uh, they, they agree, they agree. Uh, so long as, ang pinupush ngayon ng dole is that um, if we go with the compressed for the work week, mm -hmm. kailangan compensable yung working after 8 hours. I see, so yun talaga yung focus ninyo. Yes, kasi sa, oh. sa kasalukuyan po, uh, hindi siya compensable eh. Yung mga nagpa-practice ng 4-day work week, they mm -hmm. work 10 to 12 Meron hours. Meron bang nagpa-practice ng 4-day work Meron, week ngayon? Uh, yes. Uh, so, so it's being implemented yes, now? being implemented. Uh, uh, magsasabit ka lang ng report sa si Department of Labor Employment telling mm -hmm. the DOE that you are practicing or adapting the scheme. Mm -hmm. Okay, since, since sa pag-uusapan mm -hmm. na natin yung DOLE at nakakausap nyo sila, itatanong ko lang po ha, ano na po ang inyong stand sa ENDO? <laughs> Kasi alam nyo, yes. total napapag-usapan na and we, and we are here, di ba? Yeah. The President mm -hmm. had this, uh, uh, one of his biggest promises yeah. before mm -hmm. was to uh, end ENDO, the practice of ENDO, di ba? So, ano na po ba? Thank you, first of all, for bringing that up because uh -oh. number one, we feel that the president was uh, carried away by scare tactics. No, uh, ang position po ng labor movement as of today ay hindi na po absolute or total prohibition ng endo. Okay. We recognize na there are certain works na kailangan talaga ng contractual. Mm -hmm. May mga trabaho kailangan talaga ng seasonal. Oh, katulad dun sa construction, yes. pag natapos yung building, paano mo naman sila? Pag ng Christmas season, for example, yung isang mall, nangangailangan ng karagdagang workforce yes. to do the Christmas packing, the yes, gift, oh, oh. Gift, wrap, gift wrapping. So, kailangan mo talaga ng seasonal. So, you recognize If that We recognize na hindi ko talaga pwedeng absolute na iban. Oh, oh. But uh, the president uh, was carried away. Dahil tinatakot ko siya na sabi magsasara at uh, malulugi yung mga kumpanya sa, kapag sa ting, pinatupad. Sa tingin niyo po ba, um, mm. yan yung intent na naman ng mga businessmen? Mr. Mm. George C., do you agree with that? Sa tingin mo, tinatakot natin ng mga businessmen, malalaking mga mm. kapitalista ang uh, there, presidente? There are, some, there are some businesses that are abusive and ginamit itong tactics sa pananakot. Yes. I think on the whole, the average business wants highly skilled workers it's hard to get workers it's hard to train That's them true. and we're willing to pay more mm. in general for people who have higher skills ayon namin ng papalit palit nakakapagod of mm. course we expand mm. no but i think there are two issues one also that uh given that uh, reasonable stance na some industries and some types of works are seasonal uh then most businessmen can work with that already some of them are afraid that uh it in our law and uh, dole, mm -hmm. it has become very difficult to let go of people who, when you don't need them anymore. Yes. If they make it easier, I think you will find that maybe eighty mm. percent of the eighty uh, percent of the opposition will be gone. So I'm saying that yes, there are companies that are abusing this. Mm -hmm. uh, we we regret and we're against this. Uh, we cannot control everybody, but. Itong issue na minsan na uh, the business can no longer be viable with that or maybe uh, this person nagkaroon ng alitan kayo it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. uh, ng gugulo lang siya mm -hmm. uh, sa US I might say in the US in China in Europe in many places not mm -hmm. all countries in Europe major socialista sila uh, you can 
ask anyone to leave at any time, basta you compensate. Yeah. There's an additional mm -hmm. compensation. If they will agree to that, I think siguro masasarado itong issue na ito. So, yeah. what's your comment? Uh, yeah, uh, nagpapasalamat kami dahil ganyan ang posisyon ng, mm -hmm. uh, ng ating kasamang si Mr. George C. Because, uh, mara napakarami naman talaga ng mga abusado ng mga companies na talaga inabuso. Hindi naman siguro napakarami, sir. Mm -hmm. yung actually, yung malalaking kumpanya lang yung sinasabi <laughs> niya. Konti lang naman sila mm -hmm. in that category. Yeah. Pero ang dami nilang mga uh, casual workers. Yes. Oo. Oo. Uh, yan po yung uh, current status ng Endo Law. Uh, mm -hmm. Kasalukuyan, kasi ang, endo, ang essence ng Endo Law ngayon na tinutulak namin sa TUCP ay dapat ang magdedetermine ho ng mga seasonal at mga contractual jobs ay tripartite. Okay. Business, government, and labor. Yes. They should determine. Tatlong party ang magdedetermine. Yeah, the stakeholders, social, basically. Kung oh. ano yung mga trabahong seasonal at mga trabahong regular. Yes. Ngayon, ang, ang nangyari ho kasi sa, sa kasalukuyan, ang nagdedetermine ho ng mga seasonal at mga regular job ay yung mga business lamang. Mm. So, if the worker wants to be regular, he has to go to the court. Mm -hmm to the regional court, uh, to the uh, Court of Appeals, and to the Supreme Court to prove that he's a regular worker. So that's what, a tedious process and so a very what, expensive process. Yes, oh, oh, so if that's the current situation right now, mm -hmm. what is uh, TUCP doing about it? Well, we are, we are trying to, uh, we're in the forefront of crafting the anti end law. Ito yung contractualization mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. So, so naka, uh, nakapaloob siya doon sa yes. ito, batas ito, ito, ito yung position ngayon ng TUCP na dapat ang magdedetermine ng mga seasonal at mga contractual jobs ay yung tripartite bodies na ito. I see. Okay, that is your stand. So, uh, Mr. C, do you care to comment um, uh, for that? Yes, I think that's a reasonable stance as long yes. as the process is logical. Yes. No? If yes. you look at the... I think if everyone's reasonable, when you look at that market for that business, you know if it's seasonal or if it's uh, project-based or uh, that kind of uh, issue. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's more, I think, more, more of the businesses are concerned that when they find this part of the operation that is no longer viable, that they can close it without too much difficulty. Yes. And also that uh, sometimes it may be viable, but you have someone who is unhappy with you and you're unhappy with them. Mm -hmm. And then they will stay around and just create trouble mm -hmm. and you cannot yeah. let them go. Understood. Uh, there can be some kind of solution process mm -hmm. dito. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Yeah. Dito lang naman, I think, is the main opposition. Beyond that, then those companies that are, you know, not not treating their workers right, then maybe... Oh, oh, you know, pero hindi yung kami yung labor groups na nanggugulo, eh. Oh, yun nga, sige, yun nga, tatanong ko, eh. Ang TUCP naman ay moderate, di ba? Hindi naman sila yung very radical in their own views, di ba? Ang, ang, yun nga, I think that's one of the best solutions, you know, yung to put a tripartite type of a um, commission? Yeah. Is it a commission that it's you're proposing? It's a mechanism. Proposing? It's a mechanism. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that involves the stakeholders, mm -hmm. diba? My, my question uh, this time is that um, our our country, uh, no, with no exception to the other countries, no, we are opening up uh, to the world. Yeah. Eh, di syempre, pagdating doon, kailangan din natin i-increase yung ating mga skills yeah. to be able mm -hmm. to compete with uh, other countries, hindi ba? So, habang pumapasok sila dito and then new types of businesses that are coming in, mm -hmm. tayo rin naman, nag export tayo, marami tayong mga OFWs yeah. na lumalabas, mm -hmm. hindi ba? So, um, ano naman ang, uh, ang stand natin dyan on how to probably, um, you know, make the best out of this situation and not fall behind? So, for the business sector, um, Mr. So, some industries, we are very much ahead. So, hospitality industry, hotels, uh, financial planning. So we'll keep it that mm. way, that yes. uh, oh. competitive well, not advantage. Not only keep it that way, we should move mm. it to the next stage. Mm -hmm. The government should. So, kung entertainment, let's have a promotion of uh, movies and uh, mm -hmm. a studio production mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. move to the next stage. If we have animation, let's get into that business and not just provide yes. the labor. Mm, yeah. no? uh, but uh, there are other industries that we really need to upgrade. Uh, uh, medical management, logistics mm. management, mm -hmm. And so on, uh, pagka hindi tayo nag-upgrade, mm -hmm. uh, we will lose out to these other countries when they start opening up. Also in uh, uh, retail management mm -hmm. and these, these industries, na, it, once they come in and they're much more efficient, 
No, wala sa atin. Also, there's also the issue of artificial intelligence yeah, and the AI. robotics that is going to come oh, in. Ma. So our people, instead of doing the functions that can be taken over, they should learn to be the operators. Oh. So right. we have to work together with education, government, labor, everybody oh, nga. to move forward. A actually, sir, um, the, I, I would very much like to hear also um, the steps that uh, the labor groups, the organizations are taking uh, into consideration now para matulungan yung ating mga manggagawa, di ba? Pero, sir, teka muna, bibitinin muna kita. Okay. Uh, bago sagutin yan ng ating uh, TUCP uh, spokesperson na guest uh, ngayong gabi, magbabalik po ulit ang Congress Diaries after this break. Diyan lamang po kayo. Mga isyong pinag-uusapan mga palitang laman ng pahayagan. Impormasyon dapat yung malaman. Tatalakayin, pupusisiin, at hihimayin ni Mario Garcia kasama ang kanyang mga panahugin sa harap ng bayan. Face Off! Good evening. We're, you are back here on uh, Congress Diaries and we are still with our guest uh, for tonight, the TUCP uh, spokesperson, Mr. Alan Tanhusay. And of course, uh, the uh, one from uh, the business, the representative for business uh, sector, uh, Mr. George C. So, uh, Mr. C., uh, Mr. Tanhusay, marami tayong pinag-uusapan actually yeah. during the break, no? Pero sagutin niyo muna yung uh, tanong ko kanina. Um... Yes, Kong. Uh, alam mo, yung mga manggagawang Pilipino mm -hmm. ay napakataas ng kanilang uh, capability, napakataas ng kanilang skill level, no? Yes. At napaka-adaptable, napaka-flexible. Kung kaya world-class yung ating skill at uh, abilidad. Kaya, as I speak this, nananayo yung aking balahibo dahil napakagaling ng Pilipino. Mm -hmm. Napakalaki ng kanyang potential to develop more, to become yes. greater. Uh, ang amin ang pakiusap sa mga negosyante sa gobyerno, sana ho ipatupad ng maayos ang batas. Mm -hmm. Sana i-enforce ang batas at higit sa lahat sa mga negosyante, hindi naman ho lahat, ay dapat ho dapat mag-comply sa kung ano yung mga standards, ano yung mga policy, ano yung mga batas natin. Mag-comply lamang ho sila. Wala hong problema sa labor movement as long as uh, they give uh, due respect to the workers. Uh, ang mga manggagawa po ay mag-bloom mag, yan. Kapag uh, binigyan natin sila ng compliance, binigyan natin sila ng enforcement ng tamang batas, mm -hmm. the workers and their families will become greater. Uh, so, ibig mo sabihin, magkakaroon sila ng encouragement or incentive to better themselves yes, and they, uh, upgrade their skills they even will, more. They will be empowered. Oh. As long as binigay yung tamang pasahod, binibigyan ng security of tenure, nire-respeto yung safe and um, uh, safe and healthy workplaces sa kanila. Uh, Mr. Tanusay, yeah. napag-usapan natin, na total, nabanggit na mm. naman ninyo yung uh, security, job security, mm. di ba? Yan nga yung uh, nagiging problema. Mm. Kasi, Humihingi tayo ng yung security, yung yeah. tenure, di ba? Pero sa ibang bansa kasi, hindi applicable yung iba doon sa kanila. And mm. now that uh, we are seeing uh, increased globalization, uh, baka doon tayo matatalo, um, Mr. Tanhusay? Hindi naman. Uh, hindi po ganun ang aming pananaw. Ang aming hong pananaw, kapag uh, regular ang trabaho ng isang mm. mga manggagawa, magiging loyal huyan sa company. Uh -huh. uh, malakas ang kanyang institutional memory. Hindi mo na siya kailangan turuan. Hindi mo na siya kailangan i-training. Oh, yes. At years of experience lahat, also. Pag binigyan ho siya ng security of tenure, uh, ibibigay niya yung kanyang buong puso, ang kanyang buong buhay doon sa kanyang trabaho. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman kaya magiging stagnant, sir. Kasi I'm talking only of uh, especially yung mga mm -hmm. nasa yeah. government, mm -hmm. especially yung nasa government uh, service. Ha? Siguro, depende na huyan sa management. Kung paano nila i-motivate. Eh, yung nasa government service, sir. Alimbawa, mm -hmm. yung papasok ka. I mean, you know, pasintabi na lang mm -hmm. po sana, no? Alimbawa, may, kasi may secure, secured yeah. Yeah. in the fact that you have your job the mm -hmm. next day. Yun naman, parang nagiging lax naman sila. There's no motivation. Alam nila na hindi sila matatanggal ni. But on the other hand, ma'am, uh, meron naman pong management prerogative na kung ano yung gusto nilang mangyari doon sa mga stagnant na mga employees, they have all the power to do so. 
ko anong klase mga disciplinary sa private, actions? perhaps. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Not in government. Okay. The biggest employer uh, is government. government Hindi yes. ba? Oo. Oh, oh. But uh, siguro, depende na ho yan sa, ano, sa, sa nagbabantay, Tama. sa nagpapa-enforce ng batas. Oh. Kapag uh, mahigpit ho yung nagbabantay, siguro, siguro naman ay magkukomply ho yung mga magagawa. Tama. Okay, so uh, your I, actions... I have to are... say that over the last few years, the... Uh, I think with the uh, assistance of these structures put up by including uh, Mr. Tan Husay and the TUCP has uh, mm -hmm. worked very closely together with yes. TCCI and ECOP and Ganyan, has actually been very instrumental in getting so much mm -hmm. investments in. Mm -hmm. right. no? And there has been general peace and very productive uh, relations between yes. business and labor. Yes. Uh, there are there are people nga that once you regularize, in, in our experience also, some, they, they become very loyal, mm. they feel they have a home. Yes. And then the others, uh, I think you can go to any factory also. Some of them naman, the moment you regularize, tumaas na yung absences at uh, late niya. Oh, okay. oh. May, may yes. niya. And oh, it's very hard yeah. to get rid of them unless there's a big crime. Uh, even if you catch them... Uh, you know, on uh, pilfering or ganyan, minsan the Department of Labor will... Because they mm. are... They are supposed to side with labor. So, but these are not the main thing because overall the relationship has been very good. What we want, I think, is good for the country is that they think beyond being laborers, that they become entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. they become uh, service providers, mm -hmm. they become uh, uh, technology savvy so that uh, they can move on to the next stage because that's good for everybody. Right. No? And, uh, and let's make everybody work because the other thing also, as I was uh, discussing with Mr. Tan Husay, there's a tendency in uh, family and cultural structure. Natin. Pag may isang nurse or isang OSW, yung iba hindi na nagtatrabaho. Oo, oh, oh, inaantay na lang yeah. nila. Oh. And then so, oh, 20, 10, 20 people are depending on one person. Very unfair. Oh, oh, very Drags unfair. Drags down everybody. Oh, yes. So we need a culture na hindi mahiya ito yeah. to impose and tell. Kasi kung sa Chinese, they also support 10 or 20. Yes. But then, silang magmamando. Anong gagawin mo? Itong yes, gawin mo. Yes, oh, oh, you Kung have to do this. sa Filipino family, parang nahihiya pa siya. Siya pang mm -hmm. pinapagalitan pagka hindi siya naglabas at the last moment. Mm -hmm. no? uh, let's move, let's do something so yeah. that everybody can move up. No? Oh, magandang perception niya na from uh, Mr. George's perspective, no? Uh, it's very objective. Mm -hmm. And nangyayari talaga ngayon, present day. Um, what do you think about that? Yeah, uh, so support ako na namin. Maganda yung kanilang panukala at uh, very open ang TUCP to work mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. with especially yung sa nabanggit ninyo na, ano, na upskilling mm -hmm. na to, to, to teach the, the workers, the employee to become entrepreneur, hindi yes. lang consumer. No? Yes. So oh. we, will, we, we support yeah. that. I think uh, we have to go towards that and work towards that. Yes. So, I ibig sabihin ba niyan, uh, you're actually helping them by, uh, for example, um, giving them some uh, some proposals or incentives. If you do this, then this will happen to you. If you do this, then you have the opportunity to further your career, di ba? Or yeah. become an entrepreneur yourself. Ma'am, ma in fact, uh, anti you see people, uh, may mga programa sa mga union, sa mga mm -hmm. members namin, at kumukuha ko kami ng, ng test the trainer at nilalagay ko namin sa workplace I see. So you help to upgrade them themselves. Them oh, oh, oh. No? no, hindi lang na ganun na taga, ikaw ay taga solda lang ng electronic part. You have to learn other things. Oh, no? oh. That's like what uh, Mr. C is saying. Oh, oh. Na dapat multi-skill, okay. flexible and adaptable to other uh, capabilities. Okay, that's good to hear. Hmm. So Mr. C, you were saying... Saka, yung, yung kasi ngayon, actually, the situation is everybody can learn from the mm -hmm. best in the world ngayon. Because if you go to YouTube, you can see Steve Jobs talking, Elon Musk, yeah. mga oh, professors yeah. sa Harvard, Tama. sa University of Tokyo, or wherever. Uh, but a recent survey came out, mm -hmm. the Philippines is the number one user of uh, social media. Yeah. Oh, ten, 10 hours on the internet a day, four and a half on Facebook. But when we did our surveys, how many are watching learning programs? Mm. Very, very few. I see. No? So we, we think the opportunity is there. Kaya ang nangyayari ngayon, Actually, maraming nananalo sa mga contest ngayon ay yung mga taga-probinsya. <laughs> Kasi wala silang iPad. Uh, okay. So, napag-aaralan nila. Uh, we, I think we should, we should encourage uh, people to spend at least part of this. Of course, they want to relax. Part of this time learning the latest. Yeah. Uh, 
skills even in construction it's all there actually the uh, it's a change in the mindset mm -hmm. uh, na kailangan natin no? and i think as stakeholders both from the employers and the entrepreneur side and from the laborers the workers uh, side uh, i think both have to work hand in hand mm -hmm. para mapalitan yung mindset natin na yeah. oh may sweldo ko bibila ako ng latest mm -hmm. gadget imbis na gamitin niya yon para sa negosyo. Mag Halimbawa, o oh. mag invest siya. Mm -hmm. Or, to learn new skills, mag enroll ako nito yeah. kasi mm -hmm. para hindi ako palaging ganito lang. Mm -hmm. Hindi ba? So that I'll have other things that, uh, that uh, can help me and my yeah. family more. Hindi ba? Ma'am, uh, that's what we're doing now. For example, sa aming mga construction oh, hindi, union members. Hindi na nga kayo ano eh. Tuwang tuwa nga kami sa inyo eh. The, Talagang TUCP is very helpful. Uh, oh yes. Uh, for example, uh, yung construction workers, hindi lang siya nag nag uh, nagmamason o naghahalo ng semento. Yes. Tinuturuan din namin siyang uh, mag-assemble ng tiles, oh. uh, gumawa ng mga grilling, gumawa ng gate, right. no? Uh, maging plumber, maging electrician mm. dahil sa, sa throughout the duration of the project. Pag oh. nagsimula siya, uh, naghahalo lang siya ng semento, pero pag lumaki na yung building, Ano, ano na siya, maglalagay na siya ng tile. So, nandun pa rin yung, yung, yung kanyang trabaho, no? Tuloy-tuloy pa rin. At saka, pwede na nga siya after that, pag natuto na lahat ng skills niya, pwede na siya maging contractor. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Hindi na siya oh, yes. laborer lang. Okay, uh, that's that's very good actually to know. That's very heartening yeah. to know, no? And that's the last word uh, from the business side also, sir. Ano naman po ang inyong maipapayo ngayon uh, sa mga sa under, you know, given the present conditions that we have. So, lumayo na tayo sa work week natin, actually. So, life lessons na. Yes, sir. I, I, I think that, uh, this, let's take advantage. Economy is not always being good. Sabi nila, bilog ang mundo. Yes. So, while the situation is good now, uh, it, this is the best time instead of uh, attacking mm. each other, we work together yes. and try to lift all our people to the next level, no? Right. Of our competitiveness. Okay, very well said. Uh, and with that, uh, we would like to thank you for being our guests for tonight. And we hope that uh, you will update us again in the future uh, of any other developments that will arise from uh, the topic that we discussed. Thank you very much. Thank, you. thank you. So, uh, again, we'd like to thank our guests. Uh, we have uh, Mr. George C. from the Integrated Development Studies Institute and Mr. Alan Tanhusay, the TUCP spokesperson. And uh, we'll be back again next week to take a look at other pending bills in Congress and to see if these proposed laws deserve to become real laws. Until then, I am your host, Kim Bernardo Lokin. I'll see you next week.